Hello and welcome to California Lockdown. I just got through doing a live Facebook and talking to a lot of uh, friends and acquaintances and coworkers about the extension of extending California for another 30 days. So we're now looking at May 15th as our uh, not reopen date, but the time that we're going to be uh, easing up on restrictions. And so uh, I, I, um, I, I had a lot of uh, different opinions uh, on the live Facebook. Uh, some people are totally against the reopening and of any way of the lockdown of the shelter at home, the governor's order. Um, I just kind of try to stay in the middle of the argument as best I could, even though I have my own opinions, of course. Um, the reason I've done this, this California lockdown series, and I haven't done it for several, well, I shouldn't say several weeks. Um, and as you can see, I, uh, I do not have a teleprompter. I don't have a script that I'm going off of. Um, I barely write any notes uh, because I think it's important that I just tell you what I, I see um, going by the numbers here in California as of today. Today is, uh, let me guess, I've lost track. It's Saturday the, uh, oh my gosh, the 20th. And... Uh, we have been under lockdown for 30 days so 30 days in the hole as they say as humble pie would put it um yeah so uh, i'm not stressed i'm in a really good position um where I, well i'll say it i'm retired i retired just a few months ago just before this thing hit and and i'm very happy i did my wife is working at home uh and she's uh commandeered the computer unfortunately so i I purchased a cheap uh, Apple computer uh, from my neighbor and I got a really good deal on it. Uh, but anyway, sorry. Uh, so you just want to know, okay, what's going on in California? Um, and if you've never tuned into these before, um, I have some others of uh, starting from day one. I started on day one and I went almost every day for a while. And now I'm tending to do them every week. So uh, the big news was the extension uh, till May 15th. Now, uh, the restrictions are not as rigid, I would say, as probably New York or Los Angeles. We're here in San Luis Obispo County, which is midway between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Uh, it's a fairly, I would, I would describe it as a rural, rural county, 300,000 people in this county, uh, five major cities in this county. Uh, uh, as Los Angeles is 12 million people just to the just a couple hours south of us uh, so the beaches are closed in uh, Los Angeles uh, up here um, a lot of the beaches are closed some of them are, are still open uh, just because it's a smaller county um, but yeah everybody's uh, basically staying home from work um, uh, some people are allowed to work at home the lucky people and uh, I don't know how much longer, it's my opinion, I don't know how much longer we can hold out here. Uh, there's too many restaurants. I know two friends who opened restaurants fairly recently who are already struggling. Well, they're probably going to go out of business and lose their lose their businesses. Uh, I know a couple of people that work at restaurants, and so they probably are not going to get their jobs back because the restaurants are not going to be opening. They're going to be one of the last things to open. Uh, movie houses, uh, restaurants, uh, bars they're going to be the last thing to open they were the first thing to close so uh unfortunately that's just the the reality of this um whereas office people many of them will be able to work from home or return to the workplace with proper protective equipment um what i'm seeing right now as of today is rebellion is in the air and maybe i'm going to title this rebellion is in the air because i'm seeing protests start to erupt starting pretty much yesterday uh, all over they're popping up Michigan Virginia uh, right down here in Huntington Beach they had several hundred people protesting uh, they want to go back to work it's not about socializing it's about livelihoods and if you're in a position where you're doing okay and all these people are just a bunch of troublemakers well think again there's people that are out of work and it's reality for them and they they need to uh, you know they need to make a living. <laughs> uh, 
let's just be blunt about it. I mean, they, they, you know, these people, they have to keep their business alive. They have to keep themselves alive. And they're, you know, they may have already had this virus and they know they have, and they're, they've recovered and they're ready, you know, and they, but they can't do anything right now. So, uh, I don't agree with the governor Newsom's order. Um, I, I, we should have started to ease the restrictions starting today as far as workplace restrictions. People should be starting to be allowed to go back to work. It's this, it's the prudent and sensible thing to do right now. As long as they're wearing, you know, being adhering to social distance policies as best they can, uh, you know, hand washing and masks and all that. I think most people have got a hold of masks by now and they're able to utilize them. Um, so, um, I'm not going to make this very long because I don't, uh, I didn't make a lot of notes and I didn't, uh, spend a lot of time looking at the news, although I'm very, very, uh, much following the news and what's going on right now. Currently in, uh, San Luis Obispo County, we have approximately 125 cases as of last night, 125 total cases for a county of 300,000 people. We have one fatality out of 300,000 people. Uh, the state of California has approximately a thousand fatalities right now. Forty million people live in this state. Forty million. And we have a thousand people. I, I feel bad for the thousand people, obviously. Nationwide, approximately 35,000 people have uh, succumbed to this, this virus. We have 35,000 people killed in car accidents every single year. I'm not minimizing the virus. I'm just trying to put it in perspective. Do not panic. Do not panic. 35,000. 35,000 killed in car accidents every year. So we, we've just surpassed that. Well, we, you know, right now, they're talking about we're on the downside of the curve. We've, we've reached the peak. We're on the downside of the curve at this moment. Everybody's worried about opening it back up and then starting a whole other curve all over again. I don't know about that. A lot of people don't know about that. Um, there's a lot of unknown numbers out there of people who have recovered, who have had it, who have the antibodies. We don't know. Uh, but the economy, is there's no doubt about what's going to happen to the economy, and it could crumble. This is, this is um, unprecedented. Uh, stoppage of work. 25 million unemployed uh, un people that have applied for unemployment. Um, you know, 35,000 people. Okay, well, we have 600,000 people killed, excuse me, not killed, but die of heart attacks, uh, heart disease every year. 500,000 people of cancer every year. So we need to keep it in perspective. Look at those numbers. Look at those numbers and just think, oh, wait a second here. This is a, do we need a total shutdown of our entire economy? Is this, is this really, are we doing this the right way? I don't think so. I don't. So anyway, uh, I'm new at this YouTube thing, obviously. <laughs> uh, I'm just here talking to you and just uh, letting you know what's going on out here in California if you're in a different state. And so I'm going to keep doing this as long as we're on lockdown and we are definitely on lockdown so this is california lockdown till next time thanks for watching and if you want to subscribe that's fine if you don't that's fine too